Bonnie was high, high as I don't know what. I need to see like a spot there. Right? Mm -hmm. This will be. This will be the best day of your life.
many of everybody just coming on. I'm telling you, everyone is just coming on. I thank God for his mercy, his glory on tonight. Amen. I want to start first by saying hi to Minister Sheila Phillips. Hello, woman of God, woman in black, my sister in the Lord at Choice International Amen. Ministries, where we are streaming live from right now. We are streaming from 516 East Airline Highway, Choice International Ministries. Amen. Thank, I thank everybody for just coming on. I'm just going to continue to let people log on. You all are absolutely a blessing. I know that my bishop is going to be coming on shortly. So, you know, I will stop the press just to say hi to Bishop Antoine Michael Jasmine. Amen. Oh, look. Hey, Bruce Carter. How you doing, man of God? God bless you out there in ATL. He says, I'm from New Jersey. Oh. I think he said New Jersey. He said, but I live in Atlanta. Hello, everybody. Hey, Miss Carnes. Hello, Quentin Johnson. Hey, Tyrone Rose, stranger. I hope that your sister is well in the Lord. Amen. Thank you guys for coming on. You are such a tremendous blessing to the body of Christ. Such a tremendous blessing to the body of Christ. I will not start to preach just yet, but this show is going to be a wealth of information. I'm telling you, we are excited about the Day of Atonement that's going to be here on next week. It starts on the 8th, and it's going to end on the evening of October the 9th. Yom Kippur, we're going to talk about it on tonight. It is one of the most, it is, it is the holiest day, the holiest day on the Hebraic calendar. I'm telling you, we're going to talk about it on tonight. I mean, we are absolutely in our year of Jubilee, yeah. huh? When God will what? Give us back everything yeah. that the enemy has taken from us. Oh, God is restoring the years. He is restoring the years of the canker worm, huh? Everything that the canker worm has eaten away from you, the Lord is giving it back a hundred times more. So we're going to talk about the Day of Atonement. We're going to talk about our year of Jubilee. But most of all, we are going to talk about the restoration. Your restoration is here. Your restoration is ready. And so I'm getting ready to start preaching right now. I'm going to let you talk a little bit about what's going on with Selah Productions. You know that we are in the hottest spot in America. Yes. I promise you. I want everybody to be listening. Just everybody that, that is listening, I want you to give us some hearts. Give us some hearts. Let us know that you are on. I'm telling you, tell us where you're from. Yes. We have a lot of people on on tonight. Tell me where you're from. Hey, Brashe. God bless you, man of God, out in Texas. God bless you. Thank you so much for sharing all of Selah's information. I may not say much, but I see much. Yes. And so God's blessings to you for being such a servant yes. of the kingdom. He doesn't yes. even know me, but he shares everything shares. that I post. Great and you, supporter. Oh, my yes. God. Great supporter. Oh, I yes. felt the anointing talking about <laughs> Rashid. God bless you, man of God. Yes. I speak blessings and favor over your life, but not only your life, but your family's life. And I decree and declare that everything that you want God to do, that it is already manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Brashe. God bless you. God bless you. I'm telling you. Hey, Miss Carnance, I'm telling you. Miss Carnance is talking about uh, some different things on here, but she is one of my youths from the Greater King Triumph oh, Baptist right. Church. During my time with the Lord, I'm telling you, God is so amazing. Every time I see Carnance on, it's such a tremendous blessing because she used to be one of my babies. Yes. I'm telling you. I mean, she was homegrown with me. I'm telling you, right at the Gritty King Triumph Baptist game. Church. And That's I'm right. still in the game. That's right. How Miss Renita? Right. God is faithful. Yes, How many people know that God is faithful? I want you to put it on the thread tonight. Mm -hmm. It's going to be powerful on tonight. Mm -hmm. It will be powerful on tonight because God wants you to know that he is restoring the years. We're coming from Joel 2 and 25. Joel 2 and 25. God is restoring the years. Everything that the enemy has stolen from you. The Lord said, I will give it back to you in your year of Jubilee. Amen. Amen. Oh my God, from Amen. Zion. I'm preaching already. Yeah. I'm preaching so already. Let's talk a little bit about Selah. Let's talk about Selah. I'm okay. getting fired up because God is awesome. Yes, he is. God is a faithful God. 
God will do what he said he would do. Right. God will do what he promised he said he would do. Mm -hmm. God is a faithful God. It doesn't matter how long it takes. God will do what he said he will do. Am I right about it? I'm right about it. Miss Renisha, talk a little bit about Selah Productions, what's going on, because I'm ready to preach on today. Before you start, hello to George or Darty. Also, Jessica Thomas, God bless you for watching, woman of God. I want you to know God is faithful. See, I got that preach on me on tonight. I feel the fire on tonight. I feel the presence of the angel Uriel. I can feel the heat and the presence of the angel Uriel on this set tonight. Oh, my God, from Zion. God is getting ready to burn up everything that the enemy has set up against you. Every enemy, every enemy, God said he is burning it up by fire on tonight. God said, I am giving it back to you in your year of jubilee. Oh, we're going to talk about it on tonight. Mm -hmm. We will talk about it on tonight. Yes. Woman of God, go home. Let's so, go ahead. Talk about CLI Productions Incorporated, okay. our casting calls, right. what's going on. Ophelia is starting in November. We are excited about that. Tickets are getting ready to go on sale. Oh, Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, Steel Eye Productions, we're getting ready to bring it. And then after, right, you know what, right before you start talking about CELA, mm -hmm. let me invite everybody to Church Meets Government mm -hmm. right here at Choice International Ministries, 516 East Airline Highway on this Sunday, October the 6th. When I say it's going to be a phenomenal time in the Lord, church is going to meet government. Mm -hmm. Church is going to meet government. I'm telling you, we have invited, I'm talking about the surrounding areas, St. John, St. James, Ascension, St. Charles. We want the church to meet the government officials. We want the governor, government officials to meet the church because there's nothing we can do without God. Right. We can't do nothing without God. If it had not been, come on, <laughs> for the Lord, where would we be? And so I think that this is phenomenal that the man of God, the apostle, the prophet, the bishop, Antoine Michael Jasmine, I think that it is phenomenal that the Lord spoke that into his spirit to do that for this community mm -hmm. because it's needed right here in St. John Parish. We are honoring Parish President Natalie Robottom. We're honoring Chair Mike Trey, and we're honoring District Attorney Bridget A. Denvo. We want you to come out. It will be standing room only. And guess what? We're going to have rice dressing. We're going to have something for good for you to eat. When you actually finish with the program, you can mingle. You know, we're asking for all of the candidates that's running. Come out and see what a true public servant looks like. Yes. I'm going to tell you something. It's a beautiful thing when God can say, I want to honor you. When God touches the heart of the king to honor you, that is an outstanding time yeah. because it shows that your leadership has not been in vain. Right. I'm telling you, God is a wonderful God. We want you to come out. It starts at 4 p.m. I suggest you get here a little earlier, like 3.30. It will be standing room only. We have already gotten all of the RSVPs, and people are coming out. Wow. RSVP, I'm wow. telling you. You can call 225-623-9449 if you would like to RSVP on tonight. But we, we want to see you there. Church meets government. The government is getting ready to meet the church. Huh? We are the church. Oh, I'm not going to preach that. I'm going to let Bishop Jasmine handle that on Sunday. That's Amen. Right. Right. So what is going on in CLI Productions Incorporated? Okay, well, as you said, we have auditions. 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 Somebody say auditions. Yes. Call 225-623-9449 for what auditions we have. We are auditioning for Ophelia. Oh, wow, yeah. We're auditioning. Who is Ophelia? Well, That's my middle name. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so endearing when I hear people call me Ophelia. Mm -hmm. Because my grandmother's name was Ophelia. Yeah. And my mom named me after my grandmother. And so when I hear people call me Ophelia, I feel such an endearing feeling. You know, when somebody says, Ophelia, I just feel love. Yeah. And so it's such a blessing. I get called Ophelia more than Javon. Wow. Absolutely, right? Okay. So I'll tell you, your name will, will follow you. Your ancestry yeah. will follow you. And that's why we have to remember that anything in our ancestral line, huh? We got to kill it by fire if it's not of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what the angel Uriel does. He kills things by fire, the things that do not belong. The things that stop you from your blessings. The angel, you right here. Go look him up. Mm -hmm. Go look him up. He will kill it by fire on 
on your behalf. He'll kill every demon in your bloodline, every blood curse, every word curse. He will kill it by fire. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching over here. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so you know we're auditioning for Ophelia. We also have a production coming up in New Orleans called Won't He Do It? Oh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't God do it? Yes, he will. Won't God fix it? Yes. Won't God heal you? Won't God answer you? Won't he do it? He will do it. If you would like to audition for Won't He Do It, mm -hmm. a phenomenal production that's coming to the Orpheum Theater right there in New Orleans, Louisiana. If you want to audition for Won't He Do It, call 225-623-9449. God can do anything. There is nothing too impossible for him. Oh, that's not a cliche. That's scripture. Amen. That's right. All that's right. right. What else we got? What so else we got? Other productions coming up. We're going international, as you all know. God. International. Where are we Colors. going? Colors. 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 My yes. God. Yes. Ghana, Africa. Yes, yes. The Accra region. Yes. I'm telling you, we are getting ready to grace the continent of, of Ghana, of, of Africa. Mm -hmm. I believe that that play has got, it has so much more to offer, offer in that continent. And so we are very excited about gracing the continent of Africa. That's right. What did you think about the video, the aspiring video that we have out, uh, just showing some clips from the casting call in Ghana? Um, I think it's going to be very revealing. Oh, yeah. Of things that you have subdued. I oh. think it's going to shed some light. Watch that word. Now you're talking about it and subdued and all of that. Oh, well, yeah. To overcome something, yes. huh? Yes. To, to, to make it so come That's to you. Right. To submit. Yeah. Subdued. That's like, like that. you know, things that you, you had hidden. Yes. And now it's coming to light. Come on. And now you're bright as colors. Oh my you're God, from Zion. Zion. You know, oh, look at you. You're shining. Look at so, you. You haven't read my script, but I you own it. <laughs> you own it. You own it a little bit. Just I'm gonna like tell you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if I let you keep talking, you might tell it. So okay, I can't I can't we'll let you quiet with that. Right, so. right. So we are excited about colors in Ghana, Africa. Amen. It's going to be the Ghanaians and the Americans coming together. Yes. Coming together so that we can have a production together. Amen. Let me see. We have Barbara Lewis on. We have Barbara Lewis on. Also, we have Corey Butler. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm telling you, thank you so much for coming on. Hey, Cody Long. Hey, cousin. Thank you so much for watching. Tawana Moore, thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone that's coming on on tonight. You are a tremendous blessing in the kingdom of the Lord. So what else is going on with CLI Productions? Javon Ophelia's act, that's huh? right. We have Javon Ophelia's act. So um, pretty much it's a that's program a right with acting, okay. singing, and dancing. So if you have a school if you are an administrator or if you if you know any schools that have a need for our arts program yes we we ask that you just give us a call and we would love to interview with your school and share with you what Javon Ophelia Zach can can bring how we can develop yes. further develop the children yes, yes. absolutely mm -hmm. so we're excited about Javon Ophelia yes. Zach and what's going on with that amen and so with that being said we are also uh, getting ready to do what? Ophelia is going to have our start date, which is going to be November the 8th. November, November the 8th, okay. the flyer is coming out real soon. Mm -hmm. Look for it. Tickets are $25. It's going to be right here at Choice, the event place, 516 East Airline Highway. Come out. It's a love story. Yeah. It's a holiday love story. How many people been in love? <laughs> Ophelia is a love story. And so with that being said, it's, it's the most softer side of me. And so I hope that you come out, enjoy, embrace the holiday season, the fall season that has fell upon us. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so we want you to come out. That's going to be November the 8th. It's a Friday. And it's going to start at 7 p.m. And tickets are $25. Amen. So with that being said, what else is going on, Renitra? I think I'm good. Um, what else is going on? So, so much. Yes. Um, we are looking for coaches. Okay. Yes. Talk a coaches. little bit about that. Acting, singing, yes. and dancing. So right. For Javano Field to act, um, if you have a desire and you have a talent to coach in the acting, 
the singing and the dancing. Or the dancing. Yes. Give us a call. Give us a call. Yes. Amen. I'm you telling have you. have a passion for the youth. If you, you know, have passion for the youth working in the school system, mm -hmm. just call 225-623-9449. So, we are coming from the scripture. We, somebody says shift. We're getting ready to shift. I want somebody to put shift in the thread. We're getting ready to shift. We're getting ready to go to that word, the word of God that can shift your life at any time. That's right. We're getting ready to shift on tonight. Huh? We're getting ready to shift on tonight. We're going to talk about it on tonight. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about restoration. Your restoration is ready. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you ready to receive your restoration? God is ready to restore you. Read the scripture. Yes. Joel so, 2 and 25. Joel, what does it say? Joel 2 and 25. So I will return to you the years. Come on, stop it right there. Mm -hmm. Who's saying that? God says, I will return to you. I will, I will bring it back to you. Jesus. I, I will I will return it back to you. Mm -hmm. I will give it back to your hands. Mm -hmm. I will give you another chance. God says, I, the Lord, will do it. I will return back to you. What? The years. The years. Not singular, but plural. Years. God says, I will return back the years. Yes. The years. God says, I'm giving it back to you. What have you lost over the years? Mm. Huh? Have you lost a marriage? Have you lost finances and money? Have you lost a loved one? Of course, God can't return our loved one back here on the physical. But God can put a love and a peace in your heart. God can return your joy back. Am I right about it? Huh? God can give you, oh, I felt that for somebody. I might be feeling it for my own self. God says, I will return back the joy. Yes. The joy that you lost when you when you lost the loved one. Yes. God says, I am I am returning back. I am restoring back to you right. the years. Yes. Huh? Yes. Not only joy, your peace. Your peace. Yes. Your peace. Mm -hmm. God says, I'm returning it back to you. Keep reading. That the swarming locusts. Come on, the swarming locusts. Has eaten. That old sneaking mm -hmm. devil that tries to take everything. That the Lord gives to you. Yeah. The devil is a liar on tonight. That's right. And we kill every plan, every tactic, every every sneaking spirit. We kill you by fire That's on right. tonight. That's right. Die by fire That's on right. tonight. God says, I am I am restoring back to you. Even though you have messed up, God says, My compassion for you. I am returning back to you the years. That's right. Am I right about it? That's right. My God from Zion, what you have to say about that? Well, can be those lurkers. Oh, come, come that's on. What the, that's what that is. My God. Is. My God. It's people looking from a distance. People looking from a distance. God says, I'm restoring yes. back to you the years yes. that the swarming locusts yes. trouble on every side. Yes. Oh, my God, from Zion. Trouble on every side. Yeah. You look this way, you got trouble. You look that way, you got trouble. Uh -huh. A cycle of trouble. Swarming oh, locusts. Yeah. God says, I'm restoring back to you. Yeah. The, the things that the swarming locust has taken from you. That's right. The troubles on every side. That's right. The house mortgage due. I get I get my car repossessed, huh? My children get put out of school. My child get locked up. The swarming locusts. God says the swarming locusts. He says I am restoring you. Yeah. I am restoring you. Yeah. I am giving you beauty for ashes. God says yeah. I'm giving you beauty for ashes. Am I right about right. it? And you know, when my you God. say that, my God. you know, in life, how we have a, a down moment. Uh huh. And we always say, well, I, I'm just getting beat. It's, if it's not one thing, it's another. Come on. That's what that swarming trouble. is. Trouble. That's swarming. Yes. That's trouble on, yes. on, on every side. Yes. Huh? If it's not one thing, it's Come on, another. Joe. Okay. Come on, Joe. Yeah. Lost all of his children in one day. Yeah. Huh? That kind of trouble. Yes. That's swarming. But see, Job yes. in the 42nd chapter, uh -huh. he had more. He had more than he had before. Uh -huh. All of the trouble came. Yes. God says, I'm restoring you. Right, right. Huh? I'm restoring you like I restored my servant Job. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? If I'm right about it, put right in the thread. Come on. Huh? 
Thank you, Diva's Closet, for coming on. Yes. Dale Erson, thank you so much for coming on. Yes. God says, I'm restoring you like my servant Job. That's right. I'm giving it back to you. Go read yes. the 42nd chapter. Job had more after the trouble left than he had before. Yes. God says, I'm giving it back to you. Back. He said, I will return to you. I will restore to you the years. Yes. Hold, that on. The, hold on, the swarming hold on. locusts. What else? The swarming locusts, the crawling locusts. The crawling locusts. Huh. A low down, dirty, wicked thing. Try to take you out. That's but the true. devil is a liar. That's, that's that come upon yeah. your 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 door and, and God says, I'm I am returning back to you your help. Yeah. I'm giving it back to you. Mm -hmm. God says, I am going to give it back to you. Yes. I am returning it back to you. Mm -hmm. God says, I'm restoring the years on tonight. Yeah. Oh, I hope you receive it. Yeah. God says, I'm returning it back to you. This is your year of redeeming. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Your year of redeeming, your year of jubilee. Huh? Mm -hmm. When you redeem something, you give something in exchange for something. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. You give something and you pay for it for exchange of something. God says that my son, Jesus Christ, has paid it all. Yes. Oh, see, now yes. that right there. Yeah. They had to preach yeah. a whole conference. And that's a testament to, to everyone's lives. You God to... says, I am redeeming the yes. time. Yes. God says, my son has paid it all. Mm -hmm. He says, I am redeeming the time. What is that thing you've lost on today? Huh? What is that thing that you have lost on today? Welcome, Apostle Gary Carter Jr. God bless you, man of God, for gracing us with your presence. What have you lost on today? What is that thing that God says, I'm going to restore it back to you? That's right. What is that thing that you have been praying about, mm -hmm. talking to God about? The most holiest day of the year, the day of atonement is on its way. Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, October the 8th in the night, where you can give God an offering, offer him up an offering, and pray, and God will bring that thing to pass. God is a faithful God. God came to me with the scripture. I said, oh, God, you're talking about restoration. I said, oh, you're talking about jubilee. I said, it reminds me of the Day of Atonement. I said, what is the Day of Atonement? I was coming here and the Lord gave this to me quickly. Yeah, yeah. It was a rammer word. Mm -hmm. He says the Day of Atonement is Tuesday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, my God, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the year, the jubilee year, the jubilee year, we're going to talk about it. When the Lord gives you back everything, Everything that you've lost, God will give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, from Zion. That's right. Keep it going. Hallelujah. Right. God bless you, Matusa. Shania. Thank you, Brushy. Thank you so much, Terry, for coming on. Oh, God is faithful. Yes, he is. God is faithful. Oh, oh I, I, feel, I feel the marriage is hitting me right here in the chair. I feel the marriage is hitting me in the chair. I'm not married, but if you are married and you having issues with your marriage, God says, I am restoring. I am, re I am redeeming the time. I am returning back to you the years that was lost in this marriage. God can do it. God can do it. That means if, if whatever has it, the enemy has to let it go because God says, I am restoring the years. The enemy has to let it go. Am I right about it? Oh, my God, from Zion, I speak blessings and favor over every marriage on tonight. Yes. And I pray that the Lord put the fire back into your marriage. I pray, that, I pray that God put the anointing, the Holy Ghost fire back into your marriage. That's right. And I kill the enemy by fire that's trying to destroy families. I kill it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we kill it by fire on tonight. God says, I am restoring the years. I am restoring the time loss. I, I am restoring the times of sorrow. God said, I am going to give you beauty for ashes. Oh, I hear it in my spirit. Beauty for ashes. The Lord said, I will give it to you. Finish reading the scripture. Oh, my God. The consuming locusts. The consuming locusts. Oh, oh, the, 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 the locusts that tried to kill you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Tried to consume you and, and tried to kill you. Oh, yeah. God says, God says, I'm going to restore you from that thing. Yeah. From that thing that almost killed you. That's right. Oh, my God, from fire. Yeah. yeah. For that thing that almost killed yeah. you. 
almost took you out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I killed depression on tonight. That's right, that's right. I killed the dark places on tonight. Mm -hmm. And I command your spirit to wake up and go into the Lord's marvelous light. That's right. Oh, I killed depression on tonight. Yes. I killed the dark places on tonight. Yes. And I pray that the Lord gives you a sound mind. Oh, I cancel every thought that the enemy puts in your head on tonight. I kill depression by fire on tonight. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. You shall not take your life. You shall not take your life. The Lord has given you your life. God says, I'm restoring the years. I'm restoring the time. I am restoring your mind on tonight. God says, I am restoring your mind on tonight. God says, I'm restoring your thinking on tonight. God said, I'm giving you back the years. Right. I'm giving you back the years. I'm returning it back to you. Yes. The year of Jubilee, the day of atonement, huh? Yes. In the Hebrew, the Hebrew term for atonement is kafar, to me to cover over. Oh, see, mm. Mm. God is covering over all of your sins, everything that you have done. Well, I, I don't, don't, I don't go. I have gone too far, Minister Giovanni, and the Lord came. Oh no, God said, I can bring you back. That's right. The Lord will bring you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's the kind of God we serve. God says that, what? Well, come on, Ezekiel 16 and 8. Oh, you know I love it so well. He says, when I passed by you, I saw you. I saw you covered in blood. He says, but, but I looked at you and I had compassion on you. He said, and, and, and I cleaned you up. I gave you the, the finest jewelry and you became mine. You made a covenant with me and I with you. Yes. God says, I am restoring the years. God says, Kafar, yes. the, to, to, to cover, to cover up. God says, your sins and iniquities I shall remember no more. Receive your restoration because it's ready on tonight. That's right. That's right. Nothing you can do can turn the Father face away from you. Nothing you can do can turn the Father's face away from you. Oh, I'm going to say it again because I feel the anointing. Nothing you can do can turn the father's face away from you. Then he's not going to get that one sheep from that 99, huh? God is the great shepherd. Oh, oh, he watches over the flock. God is the great shepherd and he watches over the flock. God will take care of you. God will take care of you. God will take care of you and your family. God will take care of everything that you love. God says tonight, I am restoring the years. Your restoration is ready. Mm. Are you ready to receive it on tonight? Are you ready to thrust forward in the things of God? That thing that's stopping you that you think you're not forgiven for? Huh? Repent on tonight. John the Baptist, huh? Repent on tonight. Repent for that thing. God says, I hear you. The Lord says, I hear you. God says, come unto me. Who are heaven laden, huh? Mm -hmm. He said, he said, I will give you rest. Yes. He said, for your, for, for the burdens are light yes. and my yoke is easy. Oh, thank you. He'll carry it for you. Thank you. Lord. He will, he will, he will carry it for you on tonight. Thank you. Lord. God says, receive the restoration. That's right. Receive the years that I give him back to you. Yes. Oh, I, I've done too much. No, no, no. God says, receive it on tonight. That's right. God says, I'm calling you. God says, I'm calling you higher. Mm -hmm. He says, hard not your heart. He says, I'm, I'm calling you to repentance so that I can restore the years back to you. I feel people saying, well, I'm still in it. Get out of it. Mm -hmm. Get out of it on tonight. Just not a 360, but a 180. Just, just, Get out of it. Not a 360 to wind up back in the same spot, but a 180 to, re to wind up in a different spot. Mm -hmm. God says, I am restoring the years. What else it says? My God, from and time. And the chewing locusts. The chewing locusts. Oh, the chewing locusts. The things that, that gnaws on you. The things that, 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 that won't leave me alone. Huh? Huh? Uh, the, that, that thorn in your flesh. Oh, oh, wretched man am I. The very things that I should do, I, I, I don't do. And the very things that I, I should not do, I do. That gnawing locusts. That situation that will not leave you alone. The Lord says, I'm restoring you on tonight. Mm -hmm. Let it go. God says that thing that keeps bothering you. No, it wasn't your fault that happened. Oh, who I'm talking to. It wasn't your fault it happened. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, 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 I feel 
the Holy Ghost. Let it go. That, that gnawing thing, that, that gnawing thing that's trying to, 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 to take your joy. It's not your fault. It's not your fault on tonight. God says get rid of that thing so that I can restore back to you the joy of your soul and your salvation. Oh my God. God says I'm trying to restore back to you the joy that's down deep in your, your soul and in your spirit. Oh my God from Zion. I want you to catch it on tonight. I want you to catch it on tonight. It's not your fault. That, that gnawing locust, the things that just won't leave you alone, the people that don't want to leave you alone. Kill, it, kill the spirit in them by fire. Remember, you, you do not wrestle against, huh? Flesh and blood. Right. It's not the person, it's the spirit that's yeah. in the person. That's right. We must always pray. The Bible says that men ought to always pray. The people that nags you and Constantly aggravates you and depresses you. Pray on those people and get away from them quickly. That's that gnawing locust. That gnawing locust. It gnaws and it gnaws and it, it takes your joy. It takes your peace. It takes your prosperity. It takes it away. I'm talking about prosperity meaning rich in your own spirit. It takes it away. What other kind of locust? Well, that's all we Oh, need. my God, from Zion. Name those locusts like, again, <clears throat> huh? Okay, it says the swarming locusts. The locus. swarming locusts. Trouble's on yes. every side. The crawling locusts. That crawling, that deep down, low down situation and things that try to catch you in the valley of a situation. Mm -hmm. The crawling locusts. The consuming locusts. The consuming locusts. The, the locusts that tries to kill you, mm -hmm. try to take your breath away. Yeah. Huh? And that gnawing locust. Mm -hmm. That situation that won't leave you alone. God says, I am restoring the years that the locusts have stolen away from you. That's right. The devil is a lion on tonight. That's right. He has already lost ground on tonight. You have the victory in him. Yeah. Because God has already spoken. I, the Lord, have said it. The Lord says, I am returning back to you the That's years. Right. That's right. This is the time of Jubilee, huh? This is a holy year, 2019, the year of Jubilee. The day of atonement is on its way. Huh? October the 8th through the 9th, you sow your seed. You lift your prayer up to heaven, huh? You tell God exactly what you want on the holiest day of the year. Cup four. God says, I have covered all of your sins. I have covered every one of your sins. You can pray to me and I can hear you. Thus says the spirit of the most high, also God. My God from Zion. And you know, bottom line with the locust, its, it's purpose is just to dry you up. Come on, you got to say that loud. I want them to hear what you just said. It's say. just to dry you up to where you just feel numb. You have no more left in you. But God is just... God is just trying to tell us that he will restore all those... Needs. He is going to restore everything back to you. Are you ready to receive your restoration? Yes. Your restoration is ready. Yes. If you are ready on tonight, put ready. Yes. Put ready in the in the in the thread. Yes. If you are ready to receive the restoration that God has for you, I want you to put ready in the thread. Mm -hmm. Your restoration is ready. Yes. That child that has gone astray, God says, I will restore back to you the joy, huh? Yes. Yes. Of your salvation. Yes. You train up a child yeah. in the way that they should go. Yeah. And when they get old, they will not depart from it. Huh? Yeah. They will not depart from it. I promise you God is faithful. Yeah. God says, I am restoring the years. What are the locusts again? The swarming locusts. Trouble on every side. Mm -hmm. The consuming locusts. The situations that try to kill you and take your breath away. Mm -hmm. The crawling locusts. The, the little things that you don't want people to know about. Oh, God, I feel that. Mm -hmm. The things that you don't want people to know about. God says, I am restoring you back to the joy of your salvation. I am giving you beauty for ashes. Mm -hmm. Joel 2 and 25. Mm -hmm. The day of atonement is on its way. I keep saying it, October the 8th through the 9th, the year of Jubilee, when God will redeem everything for you because Jesus Christ has paid it all. Am I right about yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. So, My God, from Zion. Restoration. And 
I mean, I know we are talking about 25, but if you continue to read on to 26, it, he tells you. Talk about it. How are you going to eat in Jesus. plenty? Come on, come on. But it's like, once you make your mind up that I'm going to not let these locusts destroy me. Come on. I will not let them take my joy. There's probably one little ounce of, of joy, of yes. hope left in me. Yes. That's all God needs. That's all he needs. That's all he needs to work with. Turn into Leviticus 25. One through four. Huh? You shall then sound a ram's horn abroad on the tenth day. Come on. The tenth day of the seventh month. We are in the tenth. Look, we are in the what? The t we, are on, we are in October. Mm -hmm. The tenth month. Huh? Mm -hmm. But it says on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement, you shall sound a horn all through the land. Huh? The shofar. The shofar, which is, it was a horn that they blew during the times of the Bible days. And it says, you shall thus consecrate the 50th year, the year of Jubilee, and pro proclaim a release through the land to its inhabitants. It shall be a Jubilee for you. Amen. God says it, sh it will be a Jubilee for you. What does that mean, Minister Javon? That means God is restoring back to you everything that you have lost. That's all I'm trying to say on tonight. Mm -hmm. God is trying to give it back to you in your hand. That's right. But you have to be ready to receive what he is trying to Oh, See, I just blessed my own self. I just blessed my own yeah. self. Really? Bishop said it last night. He said, you want the harvest, but are you ready for the harvest? Yeah. Oh, see, that struck me really? when he said that. I can run all around this room. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to receive the harvest? Oh, God, I need to see it. I want the manifestations to show. Oh, God, bring it down. Bring it down. Oh, Lord, right now, I call it down from heaven. God says, are you ready to receive it? Yeah. Are you ready to receive what you are asking me for? Am I right about it? Yeah. In the year of Jubilee, God has given you back everything that you lost. Yeah. Everything that you have lost. What you got to say about that woman of God? I'm only with you for another short while. If you notice, I've been staying just for one hour. One hour of that Holy Ghost fire and power. One hour. Because the things that I have to say here on the spot, it don't take that long when God is speaking. The Lord means what he says, and he says what he means. God says, I am restoring back to you the years. If yeah. God says, God, God says, I am restoring back to you the years. Yeah. In Isaiah 1 and 19, he says, come, let us, let us reason together. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God, a, a great God like that. The Lord is asking for us to reason with him. He says that if you are, if he are willing and obedient, you will need the good of the land. Mm -hmm. But if you are disobedient, then you will suffer destruction. Are you going to be obedient on tonight? Are you going to receive the restoration that God is trying to give to you? And once you receive it, huh? What will you do with the harvest? What will you do with the restoration that he gives you? Are you ready to receive what God is trying to place back in your hand? God says, I am giving you another chance. I'm giving you another chance to get it right. Oh, my God, from Zion. God says, I am giving you another chance to get it right. That's right. God says, I am returning back to you the years. That's right. The swarming locusts, huh? Mm -hmm. The crawling locusts, huh? The consuming, the consuming locusts. God says, the, the consuming locusts can consume us, but God says, I have the consuming fire. That's right. To burn away everything that the enemy has tried to steal from you. Oh, I feel that in the Holy yeah. Ghost. Who on here on tonight understand what I'm saying? God says, I am getting ready to return it back to you. I am about to answer your prayer. He says, if you call unto me, I will answer you. Yes. And I will show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. Yes, yes. Oh, my God from yes. Zion. He that cometh to God must believe first that he is. Yes. Huh? That he is. And 
that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Are you diligently seeking the Lord on tonight? Do you understand that God is getting ready to restore back to you everything that you have lost? Mm -hmm. Everything, every child, huh? Every doctor's report, yes. everything getting ready to change. It's the year of jubilee. Yes. God says, I'm giving it back to you. God says, I'm giving your help back. Come on, you got to believe it by faith. Or if you have a problem believing, say, God, help my unbelief. Oh, Lord. Help my unbelief. Yeah. God says, I am restoring back the years. Your restoration is ready. That's right. Are you? Are you on tonight? Are you ready to receive the things of God? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you ready to receive what God says? That's right. You have to receive it in your spirit. Yes. You have to receive it in your, your soul. You have to receive it in your mind. A higher consciousness That's of thinking. Right. That's right. So a man thinking his heart, so is he. That's right. If you can't see it, to believe it in your own mind, then you won't receive it. Oh, see, you're not ready. You're just not ready. If you can't see it in your mind, mm -hmm. then you can't believe it. And if you can't believe it, you won't receive it. Mm -hmm. If you cannot, if you cannot. Perceive the word that I'm giving on tonight. If you cannot conceptualize this word, then it shall not happen for you. Because you have to, you have to believe by faith. God says, without faith, it's impossible right. for me to move. Right, right. You have to believe that your year of jubilee is here. Yes. Restoration is here. Yes. God bless you on tonight. I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching See Lost Spot. We ask that you come back every Thursday at 8 o'clock. We play music for a little while, and then we come and bless you with the word of God. Your restoration is ready. Receive it in your mind. Your restoration is ready. Receive it in your mind. Receive it on tonight. Say, God, help my unbelief. Oh, help my unbelief. This woman is screaming and hollering. Lord, help my unbelief to receive what she is saying on tonight. Your restoration is ready. God bless you real good.